You're married what? God's fruit grows here. Really? I think so. All right, well, I guess y'all here for Vacation Bible School because God's fruit grows here, right? Are y'all ready for Vacation Bible School? Yeah. All right, if well, y'all ready, let me hear you welcome Palmer Day up. Give him a hand, give him a hand. Welcome to Big Hard Farms. Welcome to Big Hard Farms. All right, well, I'm just going to say, we got spirit, yes we do, we got spirit, how about you? Yeah. Alright, we'll see how loud they are. You ready? We got spirit, yes we do, we got spirit, how about you? We got spirit, yes we do, we got spirit, how about you? We got spirit, yes we do, we got spirit, how about you?
whatever you want to see, but you've got to put in the effort and you've got to trust God and allow God to lead you. There is no other way. Two years ago, I was a part of one of the best moments of my life when they did a championship. This is one of the blessings of that championship.
Lord, and they pray these follow them to the south entrance in the foyer. High school grades 9 and 10, you're going to room number 7 with uh, Brother Bailey, Brother Farmer Bailey. High school, on your feet, please. High school, on your feet, please. Bye-bye. See you later. Room 7, right over here, please. Right here. Brother Bailey and Brother, uh, Brother Spitty. High school, let's go, please. On your feet. Thank you. If we have any college age kids, we're going to ask that you please attend that class as well. Uh, he's taking the college age as well in room number seven. Tonight, the adult class will be talking about Brother Brandon Powell. Uh, he's one of our own. He's just going to a different location right now. Please turn on the right number three, please. Uh, and he's going to be teaching us tonight about the heart of the flesh. The heart of the flesh, Brother Brandon Powell. Y'all give him a big round of applause, please.
walk in the Spirit, and you will not gratify uh, or satisfy them with the desires of the flesh. The desires of the flesh are against the Spirit, and the desires of the Spirit are against the flesh, for they are opposed to each other. To keep you from doing the things that you want to do. Is that in your Bible? Verse 18 says, But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is a law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. Verse 25. If we live by the Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. The assignment that I received at the end is the heart of the flesh, and I, I want to share with the objective that I'd like to accomplish on this evening. I was giving the assignment to to, to deal with a very serious matter, but, but you are, in theory, in vacation Bible school, so we, we want to be able to kind of engage and, and, and have fun while we're doing it as much as we can, but this is the Word of God, so you can't play around too much with it. Uh, you know, this is a subject where we, we still want to walk away feeling empowered uh, since we are dealing with the Word of God, amen? amen? So, the objective, when you leave this session, uh, you will, and I may not have time to do part of the uh, activity that I plan on doing, uh, but we'll see how, that, how time works with this this evening. I want to understand three characteristics of the flesh. Uh, another thing is to learn to distinguish these characteristics in daily Christian living. I believe any time you get on a subject, it's not, it's not just about covering the material and, and leaving you feeling more knowledgeable, but how does it apply in your life? How will this apply when I leave here and start going to work with Wednesday? Make it practical. That's what I believe. And then lastly, we have discussion and activities to enhance the learning experience. I plan on going to the, the, the this, this session as a facilitator. I'm not going to try to lecture. I would like to engage. If you have any questions or, or, or thoughts to share, we would love to uh, engage in the session together. Again, here's our text for this evening. One thing I thought about when I was giving this assignment is understanding the heart. That's interesting. When, he, when I was giving this assignment, it was the heart of the flesh. It was very interesting. Understanding the heart. It was defined as the seat of emotion or the mind. It's where, where all of these different emotions take place. Some of you feel some of these emotions today. Or this week, or recently, in time past, grieving, rejoicing. Desire, understanding, decision making, all of these, these things take place in the seat of emotion, in the, in the heart. It is the center of a Christian spiritual life. It originates from the heart. Some additional things that, 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 that burst from the heart doubt, sometimes, devotion, faith, all of these, these bad things. That's the reason why Paul says, he said that. The, the flesh loves against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. All these things take place from the same source. It comes from the heart. And you're struggling and trying to make sure that the, the main one is of the spirit. How does this relate to the flesh? This is what the three characteristics will come into play. We'll deal with the first one. First characteristic, characteristic number one for the subject of the heart of the flesh. The heart of the flesh opposes, the heart of the flesh opposes our true spiritual nature. Can we agree with that? The heart of the flesh opposes our true spiritual nature. Now, this is referring to true 
children of God, the heart of the flesh at its core, it opposes our true spiritual nature. <clears throat> to oppose, I just want to break down that word, to oppose, it means to be against something in, in, in the simplest form. To oppose means to be against something. Opposition exists more than just Christians. We all understand that. Uh, you, you ask anybody, have they had an opposition in the past year? They'll tell you yes and then. In fact, they'll tell you, I've had a lot of opposition. So opposition exists for everybody. 